All right. I want to talk about Matt Patricia real quick. I'm not going to be here all day, but like the last two years, he has, he was way underwhelming for me. Like, I'm not about to go in game by game, but I'm just going to say this. 4 and 12 is not acceptable. 3 and 13 is not acceptable. 5 and 11 is not acceptable. 6 and 10 is not acceptable. 7 and 9 is not acceptable. 8 and 8 is not acceptable. I'm not even, I don't even want 9 and 7 to be acceptable. I want them to win double digit games. This division was not good last year. That's, well, then again, yeah, it wasn't that good last year. The Bears wasn't even that good. They, they was 8-8, eight and eight, but they was better than the Lions. But you get the drift. And the Vikings was 10-6. and six, And the Packers was 13-3. and three. But I rest my case. We wasn't good enough. We wasn't. Even with Matthew Stafford, we was not a good team. Our offense was better. Yeah, that's true. But we wasn't a good team. We still, we we could still close our games. Like last year, the story of the Lions was not being able to finish games, not being able to close out, not being able to run the football when we really need to. I know people going to sit up here and say, well, what about the running game? It has improved. It improved last year. It improved. But it didn't improve when you needed them to improve. We still wasn't able to run the ball in close game situations. We still wasn't able to beat out a team in the fourth quarter. You know how many wins we could have got last year if we were just able to, if our defense was just being able to hold up and we was able to run the football with some effectiveness? You know how many games we could have won last year with or without Matthew Stafford? Exactly. So you said we lose it. We lose it to the Green Bay Packers, even though I think we should have won that game. We all know what the story is, that face mask nonsense. But if we was able to run the ball effectively in that game, we this wouldn't even be a, a discussion. The Packers wouldn't even won that game. They wouldn't even have a chance to even come back. The referees wouldn't even try to screw us because we beat them too bad. When we was up on the Packers, we could have, we should have put our foot down and ran the ball all on them, but we didn't do it. We didn't run the ball on them. We didn't run the ball effectively on the Arizona Cardinals, the first game of the season. We didn't run a ball effective at all. That's why they was able to come back, even though they didn't beat us technically. I still feel like it's a loss. If we was able to run the ball effectively in that game. We win that game. Because we can have a guy running the ball, killing the clock, killing the ball out of Kyler Murray's hands, and and maybe we could score a touchdown off of that. And we, we get a defense some rest. This year, like Matt Patricia, he and his his time management, he need to improve on that too. His time management and then his, his schematics, man. His schematics is just awful. It was dreadful last year. His schematics was dreadful. It was unbelievable how bad that defense was. I ain't never seen the Lions defense this bad. Ever. 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 I seen the Lions have bad defenses in the past decade, but it was it never was this bad. This is historically bad. Even the 0-16 Lions defense was better. That's sad. That's straight up sad. And I'm saying that right here on camera. The 0-16 Lions defense was better than the defense last year we had. Our run defense was horrible. I don't care what nobody said. Our run defense was garbage. It was straight garbage. People are like, no, it, that was one of the better parts of our defense. No, it was not. Our run defense was garbage as hell. Our run defense is trash. Then you got the pat, the secondary was bad, the no pass rush. But honestly, the guy true. Matt Patricia, 
much as he like the run man zone, that man defense. Isn't isn't it your linebackers and your secondary supposed to be the strength, the the main focal point of your defense in the first place? Isn't that how they run it in New England? I mean, our linebacker court is honestly, to me, until proof of otherwise, the weakest in the NFL. Our linebacker court was horrible, horrible. People gonna say, no, it was the pass was no defensive end. I get it, I understand it. I get what you're saying, no pass was this, no pass was that. We had no Deshaun Hand and no um, Austin Bryant, none of that. I get it, I understand it. But if you really think about it, our linebacker core was garbage, straight garbage. Like, they couldn't stop nothing. They couldn't stop nothing in the past game to save their life. And the run and the run stopping abilities was non-existent. Jelani Travis shows some signs of, of brilliance, but that's not enough for me. It's not. It's not enough for me. Our linebacker core, I seen our linebackers consistently, like Jared Davis, just letting guys run right past him. I seen him miss tackles on a consistent basis. Same goes, same goes for Christian Jones. Cannot bring down the guy. I seen Dalvin Cook run all through him and Jerry Davis running all through them. Either still farming no more, just running right past him, and they can't tackle him. I seen it too many times last year. The linebacker court is the worst in the NFL. NFL. Not worse in the North. Not worse, no, worse in the NFL. We had the worst line. You could go look up the numbers. Linebacker core is straight hot garbage. That has to improve this year. This is there's a reason. There's a reason why Bob Quinn signed all these linebackers. There's a reason. He knows the real weakness on that defense. But Patricia, one thing he has to improve on. He has to, he has to get more pressure. Like he need to send more heat in that defense. Whatever you will send that that cotton candy defense, that prevent defense, cover cover four. No, that sucks. That don't work. That prevent defense basically sending nobody but three or four men at a time to rush the passer. No. You need to send five, six, or seven sometimes. Send the heat. But, but yeah, that defense must drastically improve. Another thing Matt Patricia need to help clean up is that that special teams. We got no punter now. We don't have we don't have a punter right now, and I don't know where they're gonna find one at. I guess they're going to find one at free agency or whatever. But with that being said, they need to find they need to find a way to get better defensively in the special teams. Because I've seen too many returns on the Lions. I've seen too many positive returns. This team was awful in the special teams last year. Awful. Jamal Agnew was trash. Like, he, he had a couple good games, but he was trash. He always muffing punts, muffing, like, muffing kick return. Like, it... It was inexcusable. Inexcusable. When he muffed a couple of them things, that lost his field position. Either he lost his field position or it would be turnover on dimes and the team get the ball right back. Like, we don't have time for that. That's why Jason Hundley is coming for his job. He's coming for Ty Johnson's job. And he's coming for Danny Amendola's job. That's why I said yesterday in my stream, that needs to get cleaned up. Sec the, the special teams from all from returners to the defenders need to get cleaned up. Next thing, Matt Patricia, he gotta do. I'm not saying this team gonna be perfect. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying we need to be perfect. But certain things just is killers on this team. It's killers. Special teams do matter. It does matter. It really do. 
Special teams can decide if you win or lose. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> it really can. So, don't sleep on special teams. And even offense. I can nitpick the offense. The offense is good, too. The offense is good with Stafford in there. Yeah, they, they were scoring points. Yeah, they, they was moving the ball down the field when Stafford was here. Problem was... They couldn't run the ball consistently. Now, some of that had to do with the offensive linemen. And some people want, like, I mean, the offensive linemen, some people want Terrell Cosby to be the guard. I don't like Terrell Cosby, personally. I don't think he's that good. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen enough. I don't, I don't need him to have one good series. No, I don't think he all that, honestly. Like, I've seen enough of him, like, <laughs> Joe Dahl, I don't like him either. I don't like – and Kenny Wiggins is just absolutely dreadful. Like, if the rookies come in and win the, that job, good. That offensive line needs some work too. They need some continuity. But the run game is number one. Like, if we don't have a run game this year again, it's over. You, you, you lost your job. You're not going to win no more than five or six games, man, with a lackluster running attack. Now, granted, if you look last season, I know it's going to be a new season, but you look last season. Carry on had the most eight man in the box plays more than any running back in the NFL. I mean, he faced more eight man, eight man um, in a box than anybody. It's crazy. <laughs> I guess they know what he can do. Let's see that narrative change. Let's see. If this offense can open up the run game, like like throw the ball to set up the run, even though we've been trying to do that for years, but I think this ain't been more just pass, 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 and don't run the ball, and we give up on the run too much. We need to be consistent with it. We need to run the ball down their throat, any team throw. But like I said, man, I would love to have a, a – Four running backs on this team. I know people gonna say it's gonna be five. I think it's gonna be four. Matt Patricia needed. I think he need to keep four running backs on the roster. Four. But yeah, man, he got it's easy to sink or swim. It's an extra playoff team this year. No excuses. Like six to ten, not acceptable. Five and eleven, not acceptable. None of that acceptable. And the NFC North is wide open. I don't see the Green Bay Packers is they they not they was the weakest 13 to 3 team I ever seen in my life. They had the easiest schedule I ever seen. Easiest schedule. Like, they're not to me. It's no reason you can't overcome them. There's no reason you should not sweep Green Bay. I don't care if they do got Aaron Rodgers. There's not a reason you can't sweep the Bears either. Or the or at least Split with the Vikings at least. Like the Vikings, you gotta like you gotta win in our division. That's the number one thing he need to do. And he has failed at that. Is win in your own division. You can't win. If you don't win in your division, you ain't going nowhere in the playoffs. We we went 0 and 6. 0 and 6 in the north, bro. 0 and 6. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. <laughs> Last year, even the year before that, the Lions went two and they went two and four in the NFC North. In his first year, second year he go zero and six. What he's going to do his third season? Matt Patricia haven't exactly shown me signs of hope, though either. Though my eyes still on him like a hawk. I'm not giving him the benefit of the doubt. If he come out and be trash again with that cookie cutter cotton cotton candy defense again, that ABC Lucky Charms defense again, in the words of, of LB and Dante Chase, then it's over. If he come out with that again, it's over. It's a wrap. We ain't winning nothing. But my eyes still in the jury still off of you. I'm gonna be on your head this year. First year, I give him the benefit of doubt. Like, okay, this is his first season. You know, he's still learn. He's still trying to implement his scheme. Nah, you had three years to implement your scheme. 
no, it don't take no five years to get your scheme and all that together. No, you need to come up with something, come up with something fast. You need to win now. Win now. Not later. Now. Time is, time don't sit still, man. It don't. But yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm gone. Like, comment, and subscribe as well. Peace.